You guys haven't posted in a minute. So we're at an Envo now in Pennsylvania. I am gonna be filling the tank. 523 for diesel minus whatever my discount is. For the guys wondering, you cannot, you, well for one, they don't have diesel over there. But two, you cannot use the mud flap or any fuel card over there. You have to use the trucker pumps. And even though I'm not gonna be using the satellite pump to fill the tank because we are in Pennsylvania, I still get to use my fuel card. So we're probably gonna get this, I'm gonna guess, I think it was like 501, not the greatest discount in the world right now or in this specific spot, but we will be filling up out of state. So I'm gonna dump the ATF in the tank. We're gonna try to get these injectors cleaned out and we'll go from there and I'll explain to you guys in this video where we've been, but we are going to pick up a travel trailer. So I got our grease. We're gonna have to grease the shit out of this ball and we'll get out of here. All right, so take our ATF. This is fresh, brand new. Let me throw in that in there and then we'll throw a fresh tank of diesel on top. throw that away all right so a little dark but you guys can see we made some differences i have not plugged the fuel pressure gauge in yet i do need to wire that in uh, we're waiting on an oil pressure gauge and an egt gauge so as you guys can see we have a boost gauge gear so we know what gear we're in battery voltage intake air temperature rail pressure fuel level transmission temperature speed and coolant temperature now Dodge is absolutely, I understand everybody does this, but it's pretty friggin' stupid, okay? So they have what you call a heat exchanger. It's on the side of the block on a 5.9 Cummins or 6.7 Cummins. And unfortunately, when you're cruising down the road, your coolant temp and your transmission temp are exactly the same. What that means is when your engine's running at 200 degrees and it's happy, your transmission is also running at 200 degrees, which is making it unhappy. Transmissions should not be running at 200 degrees. They should be running around 160, 170 degrees. I like to run them even colder than that, but that's just an obvious point. So we do need to get a Mishi motor cooler on the front and I need to delete the heat exchanger and put an actual other cooler down on the frame. So you guys can see where we're at. Uh, we're gonna be cruising down the road and that's gonna change. Uh, we also reset everything up here. I just did the tire size. I measured my tires and from the ground up, they're in between 31.75 or 31 and three quarter and 32. So I just put it at 32. I tuned it down to 32 and three quarter. Speedo was still up. I took it down to 32 and a half. Speedo was still up. So I put it now at the 32 and we'll see if our speedometer is correct and matches our GPS speedometer. So we have about eight hours and 22 minutes to go. So we're gonna start cruising and I'll let you guys know what my fuel mileage is empty and then I'll poke a trailer up and I'll show you what the fuel mileage is full. Also real quick, uh, we did go through, uh, we are running a different tune on this truck now as opposed to what was on it. Uh, we have a tow, a custom tow tune. So we have the rail pressure, uh, we kept the rail pressure stock instead of raising that up but we did get rid of the throttle delay. So now there is a ton of when you hit the throttle, it is immediate. Uh, we also did a couple other things in there. We now have the factory high idle. So we have that. And no check engine lights. Fuel filter's been replaced. Everything's good. We just, like I said, I just need to get all three of these gauges wired in. We're just waiting on these two. So now we can go. All right, so we've made it. Uh, probably about three, 400 miles so far, and there is not a drop of oil underneath this truck. So, that means we did good. Um, I got the speedometer. It's like a half a mile an hour off, so we're good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, truck's been, truck's been running all right. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, we definitely need to get an upgraded trans cooler at some point. Unfortunately, this thing is uh, not super happy on the transmission side. Like I was climbing a hill, that light does not come on at 220. That transmission light, it comes on, it, it went up to 224 and it never came on. So either that light comes on at 225 or 230 is the next bet. So that means I've had this transmission hot quite a few times. So like I said, we are setting some money aside to do a transmission at some point. I have a guy that can do it 
for very cheap. I just need to supply the parts, torque converter, and the full rebuild kit. Probably going to go through Firepunk. Other than that, everything's been all right. We'll get this thing fired up. We are parked at the Tesla pumps because there was nobody here, so why not? But again, no check engine lights. Truck's, you know, running like a top. Uh, we are going to be getting some fuel here soon. This overhead says we are getting... 24 miles a gallon which is absolutely not true but edge's customer service is awesome so i forget or not if i told the story but rather than driving down to north carolina uh they just flashed it free for me there's a cop right there we are in ohio but they they let me flash it back uh without having to go down there and it was for free they generally charge 100 bucks they did it for me for free because i just got it repaired through them so i definitely appreciate edge I'm not gonna say anything bad about Edge anymore because I didn't like this unit at first, but they've made up for it with their customer service. So absolutely, if you ever have issues, they stand behind their stuff. As you'll see, we come in here. So we are currently running the tune right there. We have our quick features, all this stuff. I had to adjust the tires down to 31 and a half. Um, axle ratio, you know, all this stuff here. We can turn on the high beams and leave the fog lights on. So all that stuff in there, like there's a lot of features. We have the high idle feature. Uh, we have diagnostics. We don't have any codes. Vehicle weight, 8,000. I will weigh it. I need to get a full tank first and then I'll weigh it. And then we'll get the exact, but basically there it is. Um, I don't know how I feel about the fuel level gauge. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else. I don't think there's anything else in here really worth putting in. Other than like runtime and trip odometer, but I don't see a point. Yeah, we'll just we'll just leave it as is. We have it custom tuned up to like max timing and just everything up to the max on the main tow tune. Once we get the transmission built, I'll probably bump it up to economy and probably leave it at that. I don't know if I'll run the hot tune. I prefer not to run the hot tune. All right, so we got about 11.9 miles per gallon on the way here, doing 70 the whole way. Um, I'm thinking that we need to replace an air filter, so we're gonna be doing that tomorrow sometime. I will go and purchase one and swap that out and see, well, I won't be able to see if it makes a difference because I'll be pulling a camper, but hopefully we can get 12 miles a gallon with a camper as opposed to empty. But there you go, we just filled up 366.9 miles and 30.601 gallons. So if you guys wanna check it, go ahead. But that's what we got. We got about two hours and 40 minutes to go. All right, so just in case nobody believed it, it is the next day. This is a nice piece here and there ain't shit under the truck. So there you go. I don't know what that is, that's not for me, but you can see how dry everything is but uh yeah so we don't have any leaks underneath the truck still i'm gonna prove that point you can make a common rail not leak oil you can't make a 12 valve not leak oil so we're gonna get ready got some donuts got a monster we are good for the day uh it is 11 30 i think we have about an hour and a half of a drive and then i'm gonna call and we'll set our appointment up tomorrow for the port now well, for you guys want to be rv transporters this one's not bad he said it was 32 feet, but 32 feet is very small. Dirty ass lot. So I gotta get the batteries hooked up or a jump pack so I can lift this up. I don't wanna have to grab the jack. So we'll get this lifted up as high as possible. We're probably gonna set it right uh, where it's at. Check it and uh, I gotta throw some grease on that, throw some gloves on and we'll get it hooked up. All right, here you go. Everything's hooked up. higher all right greasy ball now we'll back it up should be good everybody's been blowing my phone up today taking all these phone calls the chains do not reach so whatever they're hooked up I need to go through and make sure that there is no damages on this thing um, I can already see some like scratches and shit here and this is what always sucks about doing these. This is what sucks about the industry is you gotta make sure everything is perfect on these trailers. Same thing with cars. 
So I do got to go through and check all the lights and whatnot. But ball is greased, not too much squat. This thing should be all right to make the trip. I'm gonna go buy an air filter. It's like a 10 and a half hour trip. So we just have to be there by 10 tomorrow. And if we can't make it, they said they can push the appointment back to one. But we're gonna get this thing moving, get the hell out of Indiana, because Indiana loves to pull you over for no plate. All right, we got everything, found the keys. Usually they put them in the hot box. We're good to go, all the lights work. You definitely wanna check those because we are gonna be driving at night. Um, you always wanna watch these. I was looking for the other one. Luckily it caught it. I took my gloves off, I shouldn't have. There we go, got that. So both sides are done, nothing's hanging. We are good to go. I just need to go send the form that is in the truck. Ugh. I had to go over and do that. This thing's gonna get a nice detail when it gets home. Needs a bath and this little section right here cleaned off. So, cool thing, check engine light. Ignore it because it doesn't matter. So, what I'm realizing is with 2006s is they throw codes for literally everything. Uh, this is four, there was like 16 of them last night, but like, you get a uh, torque converter solenoid, uh, fog lamp control circuit, um, recirculation door travel range too large, and rear right speaker audio circuit open, which makes, that's the only thing I think is legit is that rear speaker, but like these things throw codes for everything. So not a big deal. We're gonna go find a place to fill up at, go get some fuel. All right, there we go. Get this old dirty can out. Well, he's gonna take it, they want it. I was gonna throw it away. But we'll throw a nice new Wix paper filter in here and we'll call it a day. Should be a lot nicer. All right, so we got the new filter in. Hopefully this makes a big difference. We are gonna fill the tank completely in about 33 miles. So we just need to watch these transmission temperatures, make sure everything's good. I forgot to put gloves on, so I got a little bit of dirt on my hands. I'll probably have to wipe that off quick. But uh, yeah, I've been wearing gloves working on shit anymore because I am done getting dirty. Apparently stuff doesn't work here. Where that guy's at, you can't use a fleet card. Over there, there's no satellite pump. So this is the third pump that I have chosen and we are filling up now. So, shouldn't be too much. Uh, hopefully no more than 800 bucks to fill the tank. But uh, yeah, I gotta fill the entire aux tank. So, then we can get out of here, chilling out to uh, some Taylor Swift. I didn't, I'm not gonna check the mileage on this one. I don't care, I'm just gonna fill the tanks. But it is cold out here. Twenty-nine gallons. Love me a good two thousand six to two thousand nine Ram thirty-five hundred dual. Those things are just love it. He's pulling something bigger than I am, but it's a nice, clean truck. All right, somebody flashed me earlier. We're gonna get out, take a look, make sure everything is good. Chains are good. That's good, we're at a rest area. Unfortunately, all the spots are taken. All of our lights work. Doors are closed. Tires are good. Yeah, I don't know what he flashed me for, but. Everything's good. Anything hanging. The tune definitely did not fix the issue. Also, we definitely need a trans cooler because, like, you guys will see. There you go. 224 as it sits. Coolant temps even being dumb. So we'll be home, or we're gonna be at the gym in about three hours. So we're gonna run it, let it go. Alright, not sure what you guys can see, but we have everything back down in check, coolant temps down. I've been towing in third the entire time because I do think that that cooler is 
99% clogged. If not, the thermostat's bad in it. So, we also need to top off the coolant. I'm realizing I don't have anything on me. It's raining. I'm in a hurry. So, I'm just going to cruise third gear. Don't matter about the RPMs. Not worried about the fuel right now. Honestly, I will say, truck has been great. We have had no problems. The only thing is that it's just a problem from before. I've been doing some digging, trying to figure out like what makes the most sense because about the heat exchanger on the side of the block, Mishimoto makes one. And my brother uh, decided to look it up to be a smart ass. And apparently these transmissions like being in between 175 and 225 degrees. That is their optimal range. Once you hit about 240, they start to deteriorate. 260, they really start to deteriorate. So, I do think knowing with that information, I will probably end up just replacing the heat exchanger with one, uh, with a Mishimoto one. And we're also going to replace the front cooler. So, I'm going to get around 700 bucks and tomorrow sometime place that order. Then at some point, we also need to get a deep pan and we're, we're gonna go with that stuff too. So we need a deep pan as well and we need to service the fluid. And then once the transmission side is done on this truck, then we're gonna start looking into what injectors we wanna throw in this thing. Because we got the dreaded grid heater light, the P1222 code, and that means high return rate injectors. So not really a big deal right now. Truck still makes 20,000 PSI. So it's all right. It's just little things. But besides those two things, we already knew about that stuff. So. All right, so we made it. Everything's all good. Uh, we're just waiting on Josh. But yeah, like I said, all good here. We just need to uh, hit the gym. And then I'll show you. You guys know where the port's at. Anybody who's been there before. I mean, oh, there he is. Boy. I like how you have the camper. All right, what was I going to do with it? What was I gonna do with the camper? What, just drop it off down the road? Yes, hello, sweetheart. I'm trying to get the thing to load so that I can, uh... You know who else has a load? When you're on vacation, but you still want those gains. CP Auto. Are you filming the whole time? Thanks, Dad. All right, last day y'all are gonna see this thing. Taking it to the port. Gotta go get her cleaned off and then we'll call it a day. This TA is always a shit show. Four good tires, no issues. Gonna love Baltimore. All right, we're getting, uh, we're getting our escort. I recommend these guys, Chesapeake Vehicle Escorting. There she is. We're gonna head over there now. Welcome to Dundalk. Here she is, dropped at the port. All good. Verify VIN. 136 on the last. Right there. Cool. So it's crazy how great the truck is now that uh, there's no, you know, load on it. Um, that trailer wasn't very heavy, but trans temp never went over like 206. Besides that light there, definitely gonna have to get a set of injectors, whether I wanted to or not. But whatever. I've been really pushing it on the way home uh, through Mexico, about 80, 90 mile an hour the entire way, and obviously, you know, in Mexico. And the truck has just been fine. So, ultimately, I gotta go home and order that trans cooler. If anybody has the hookup on Mishimoto or any of these aftermarket or performance parts, let me know. I would really uh, like to, you know, not have to spend $800 on the truck. I mean, everybody likes saving money, right? So, I gotta get a set of injectors. I gotta get a front cooler. I also got to get the uh, the heat exchanger as well. I want to get a Mishimoto one of those. So let me know what you guys think. Hey, by the way, that's my turn signal right there. So I'm making a left turn with my right turn signal on. So it is definitely this piece here. Um, unfortunately, yeah, if you wiggle the four-way connector, it fixes it.